Well, it looks like the fire safety works. I was reached out by Xtool to see if I'd like to try their Air Assist for their D1 and D1 Pro. I said, sure, why not? Everyone can use a little bit more air in their life. And here we have the Xtool D1 and D1 Pro Air Assist Kit. Why would you need a Air Assist? Well, it gives you cleaner cuts and engravings, and believe it or not, it'll help boost it as well. Oh, I need some air. And first we have the Xtool Air Assist Set User Guide. I would suggest taking a look at this. This actually comes with parts for mostly for the D1 because the D1 Pro already has a uh, air assist built in. So you can use it for both. And then next in this box we have, oh yes, we have the hose which is about two meters long and then we have the tools and accessories for parts. And then we have in the foam the nozzle. There we go. This is for your D1. This will fit um, your 10 watt laser diode. I do not know if it'll fit the 5 watt. And uh, my <laughs> safety shield lens fell out from the foam that was on the top. But here we have the pump and the laser shield lens. And that appears to be it. Just double check. Yep, that be it. And this is what it should look like. All laid out. First, we're going to start with the D1. Because this is basically needs the most attention if you have one. First, we're going to just unplug the power. And we're going to just take out these, you know, back out these two little set rub screws that hold in the laser shield and it comes right out. Very easy. Next we're going to install the air assist nozzle. The flat part goes towards the front and the screw goes towards the back. Now you do get two of these screws but I found that uh, per the instructions it only shows to put this one screw in. You'll see that there's another threaded part on the side but it would block that laser, your guide laser, if you were to put it in. So we're only going to put this one in and plus it's just pressure fit anyways. Just make sure it's just snug, don't over tighten, no reason to over tighten it at all. Next we're going to install the protective shield, the replacement one. Removes this plastic film and you notice that it has a hole on one side. That's where your air assist will go. So make sure you have it lined up where your air assist outlet or inlet is. You'll see it right there. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is just tighten those two grub screws back down. And then once you have those tightened, you are done with this part. Pretty easy. Now you definitely don't want to over tighten these because you're just pushing against the plastic shield here. And you just want to make it snug where the shield doesn't fall out. And then next we're going to just uh, put in the, I guess the little elbow for the air assist. Make sure it's facing upward. And there you go. That part is fully assembled. Next, you're going to grab a standard number two Phillips screwdriver. And we're going to take out the two screws that are where the air assist tube is going to come down. The reason why we're taking these out is that you are provided a hose guide plate that you're going to put in. And then you're going to take the two screws that you took out, put the hose guide on, and then you're going to tighten these two screws down. Just snug. Again, anything that's getting replaced or put on is just nice and snug. Don't over tighten. And that is it for, for putting this on. Plug it in. And it's always finicky to plug that in, but it's not like something that you replace that often. Tuck the wire loom back in, slide the dovetail in, and tighten down. Pretty easy. And then next we're going to hook up the air assist hose. Slide it in and then push it down. And then you want to maybe pull it up if you want to make sure it's nice and secure. Then we're going to take the air pump, put the adapter hose on, slide the other fitting in, and take the 
the other part of the hose and plug it in. Done. Very, very simple. All right, let's go to the D1 Pro. Let's go ahead and slide it. All my testing will actually be with the D1 Pro. Take the plug out, and you're just gonna slide the hose in. And then you're done. Um, yeah, it's that easy. All laser engravers should be that easy. Now I'm running the enclosure and there's an input right there for the air assist. You just bring it all the way through and it keeps it nice and high. You can route it how you feel if you're not using an enclosure. Now I'd like to mention the sponsor of today's video, PCB Way. Are you looking for a PCB manufacturer? Well, look no further. Oh, look, they actually reduced their prices up to 20%. Wonder why that is? About price reduction of four layer and six layer PCBs. Since PCB Way moved to a new factory, after a year of adjustment, our production capacity and efficiency have been greatly improved. In order to give back to our customers and their support, we decided to adjust the price of PCBs. Up to 20% discount for four layer and six layer PCBs. Bulk order prices also dropped and quotation of larger orders can be negotiated. Huh, wow, now that is pretty cool. And also, if you're looking for anything PCB related, just go ahead and generate a quote. Don't forget, they offer CNC machining, 3D printing, metal fabrication, and injected molding. <laughs> PCB Way is definitely your one-stop shop. So please give them a visit to see if they suit your manufacturing needs. Thank you, PCB Way, for sponsoring this video. Now let's continue on to Xtools Air Assist. However, it's disclaimer time. Yes, safety first. This video is for entertainment purposes only. You are following these instructions at your own risk. Always wear approved eye protection. People and animals not wearing protection should stay away. I am not responsible if you do not become a pro after watching this video. Also, please be sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. It might be best to use an enclosure and exhaust it out of the window or another opening. Now let's continue on to see how this uh, air assist works. Again, laser. Now I've done a wide range of testing. First, let's talk about this uh, nice big thick piece of uh, pine. The first three here I tested without any air assist. And uh, the last one with air assist. <laughs> the last two were, were done at um, three millimeter speed, 100% power. And look how nice and clean that cut is. It actually went all the way through on one pass versus the one to the left. And the first two actually set up the alarms and with the air assist, it did it. And let's take a look at this. Okay, well, they're all kind of falling out anyway, so just knock them out. So let's talk about clean cuts here. Honeycomb bed actually does improve for the bottom, but uh, you can see that the first one was done without the air assist. And the second one with the air assist. I mean, you know, these are just different uh, settings for speeds and power. So, and the third one was without air assist. They all definitely cut through, but you can see some charring around the edges. And with the air assist, you can see how nice and clean it is. The bottom, again, if you have a honeycomb bed, it will definitely assist with that. Now, here's what I mean by actually improving some power, just like with the nice thick piece over that we had. Look at that. I actually didn't burn all the way through, but this one did with the air assist on. Look how nice and clean that is. Almost no charring. Next, I wanted to try something a little more intricate. So I decided to grab um, a patent off of the patent office there. I did a trace on here in light burn. This is at 80 millimeter, 40%, um, and it was on a fill. That was just like 
just to test it. And so what I did was I changed this to line mode and it's at 80 millimeters, 70% power, no air. And it's actually not too bad, but you can see that there's, uh, you know, a little bit of charring around the numbers and stuff. Um, so it's, it could definitely be improved. Same settings, but with air assist. Look how crisp it is. Now, you know, I'm definitely pushing the limits here for, you know, for how the DPI is, but look how much cleaner that looks. Looks really nice and sharp. Of course, if this was, you know, scaled up, it'll look even better. Now, here we go. <laughs> this was like really the ultimate test. 4,800 millimeters at 70% power. Wow, look at that. Just charring all over the place. You can see it burned through. And that was without air assist, and this is with air assist. <laughs> wow, what a difference. Why would you just not run it without air assist all the time? Just look how clean and crisp that is. And of course, if you are scaling this up, it'll look even better. Now, uh, this one had a little bit of a mess up. 4,800, 40% power. You can see that it kind of drifted a little bit. That's because this was, let me show you. It rocked back and forth and caught on the lip of uh, the protective cover, but you can still see the gist of it. We got, uh, again, the same type of drifting of uh, some charring. And then this one didn't get clipped, but look at, look at the difference. Nice and crisp. I mean, it just looks great. Air assist is definitely the way to go. I, I think I'll uh, run it all the time with air assist. Well, what are my final thoughts? Well, I think uh, my testing kind of spoke for itself that these laser engravers should just have it the option built in. And um, it everything just worked better. Now, are you going to be using air assist for all your projects? Well, possibly not. It really depends on what you're going to be using it for. But hopefully I've given you enough uh, resources within this video to determine if you really want this or not. There will be a link in the description below with all the current promotions and stuff. If you use that link, it'll just direct you right to that. So I really appreciate you tuning into Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in. Catch you the next time on Tripod's Garage.